Video game cut content, hoaxes and rumors, and now creepy easter eggs. Finally today we're covering one of my favorite things that can be found in games. You know, secrets, easter eggs, but not just the run-of-the-mill developer calling cards or hidden obscure references. The more mysterious ones, sometimes left in the game by mistake, sometimes a part of a greater mystery, or something interesting yet creepy put in the game in such a secretive way that it wouldn't be found for years or even decades after the game's release. Today, we're looking into such cases in another iceberg chart created by Trainwrecker, which contains some of the creepiest video game easter eggs to have been discovered over the years. I'm sure you probably don't need any more preamble, so let's just jump into the creepy video game easter eggs iceberg explained. GTA 5 Prologue Alien Starting it off here, we have something I discussed in my GTA Myths iceberg. Not the creepiest thing Rockstar has ever put in one of their games, that's for sure, or even a GTA game for that matter, but still definitely an interesting easter egg. Essentially, in the prologue mission of the game, after getting into the car and escaping from the bank, you'll come across a small bridge, and if you get out and walk under it to a small patch of ice, you can find underneath it a frozen alien. Very similar in design to the Xenomorph from the Alien films, as well as very similar to the alien costumes encountered later in the game in the Vinewood Studio set. It can also be encountered a second time when you return to North Yankton, as Trevor later on in the story. Not the last time we'll encounter GTA aliens on this list either. Saints Row Hotline a pretty strange, if not darkly humorous, easter egg in the original Saints Row if you call the in-game suicide hotline. And, well, I'll just play it for you. Doom, John Romero's Head This is an all-time classic, and probably one of the creepiest of the early gaming easter eggs. In Doom 2, during the 30th map, or the final level of the game, Icon of Sin, the final boss fight, usually referred to by the same name, contains a secret behind the boss's head, which can only be accessed by no clipping. Which, if you do, you are greeted with the head of Doom's creator, John Romero, impaled on a spike. You can also shoot at the head, and it has a taking damage animation. And the voice of the boss also actually hints at this easter egg, because if you reverse the audio it says this. To win the game, you must kill me, John Romero. Super Mario 3D Land Stage 4-4 Ghost in the level 4-4 for the game Super Mario 3D Land, released for the 3DS in 2011, there is a creepy easter egg which can be found near the flagpole at the end of the level. Behind a fence, if you wait long enough, a ghost will materialize behind and linger for a while before disappearing again into the background without a trace, and it was thought for a while that this was the only appearance of the ghost in the game and was likely just a similar easter egg to that of the Hell Valley Sky Trees, and was just meant to spook unsuspecting players who went AFK right near the end of the level for whatever reason. But that isn't actually the full picture, because the ghost actually appears in a lot of the ghost-themed levels, either at the beginning or at the end of the level, as was the case with Stage 4-4. It's just that some of these sightings are harder to spot, and more cryptic than others. The Sims 4, 1313-21 Chick Street. So this one isn't that crazy, at least by some of the standards of the later entries on this list, but one of the apartments found in Sims 4, located at 1313-21 Chick Street, is notable for being extremely cheap, and why is that? Oh. Oh, I get it now. Apparently the place is also possibly haunted, for obvious reasons, but also because of strange alleged noises heard in the apartment, the unlucky number of 1313, and a strange odor that resonates from the chalk outline. Almost as if someone died here. Hmm. Super Mario Galaxy 2, Hell Valley Sky Trees. 
Most of you probably know about this one, one of the most notorious Mario easter eggs and mysteries. In Shiverburn Galaxy located in World 5, using the first person mode you can find these two strange figures in the distance, watching Mario from the mountain. There are actually two additional figures as well that are just harder to see, but what are these things and why are they here? And what about that name, Hell Valley Sky Trees? Pretty specific, where, where did that come from? Well, it's not just a fan-given name, it actually comes from the files. That's what they actually named these sprites, curiously enough, but that still doesn't elucidate much. There are theories as to what they could be, ranging from tree spirits of Japanese mythology and folklore, to shadow entities that haunt your nightmares. However, we still don't really have an answer when it comes to this mystery. The Sims Prank Calls Back to The Sims again, and here we have a pretty creepy message you can receive as a prank call in The Sims. Like, just getting hit with this message out of nowhere would be unsettling enough, but couple it with this music and, uh, yeah, I can see why players of this game dreaded getting any type of phone call message. <laughs> Star Fox, Out of This Dimension Out of This Dimension is a very weird hidden level in the original Star Fox, which is infinite, and once you're in it, you can never escape. The only way out is to just die. Basically, it's an infinite warping void with strangely shaped planets and asteroids that look like faces, as well as text which can be observed reading The End, reminding me of that liminal space bookstore. The only way to access it is to do a bizarre easter egg in which you shoot a certain planet on the asteroid belt stage, which spawns in some kind of bird, and once you fly into it, you're taken to this stage. Sonic CD Sound Test Again, this is a pretty infamous creepy easter egg, but I'm not ashamed to admit this one definitely scared me not only as a kid, but still kind of freaks me out to this day. Like, why is this in a Sonic game of all things? Someone please tell me. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. A sound test can be accessed from the main menu start screen by pressing down 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 left right A. Then you set the numbers to 46, 12, and 25, and are greeted by this unsettling message. The Japanese text reads, fun is infinite, Sega Enterprises, and yeah, the creepy laugh and this sinister looking Sonic face, like, was this really all necessary, Sega? Granted, the Japanese version is slightly less creepy, due to the music being much more upbeat, but still one of the creepiest Sonic easter eggs for sure. Hall of Tortured Souls I name dropped this in the last video in the where did these images come from iceberg, but this is an infamous easter egg hidden in Microsoft Excel 95. The actual hidden game itself isn't very scary or creepy in itself, but the name makes it seem like it is, the Hall of Tortured Souls. But it kinda makes sense in a way, and you'll see why in a minute. First, to access it, you have to open an Excel sheet, select the 95th row, tab over to the second column, column B, click on the About Help tab, and then hold Control, Alt, and Shift all at the same time, and press the Tech Support button, which will then launch the game in another window. It's a pretty basic game where you just walk around and look at different shapes until you eventually find the credits, as well as a picture of all the developers that worked on Excel 95, which I guess it's why that's given the title of Hall of Tortured Souls. And likely because of this pretty creepy name, it ended up being put into the backroom's lore as level 195. Detroit Become Human Corrupt File Prank not actually really creepy at all, just a momentarily startling prank by Chloe which can occur on the main menu of the game. Oops, I think your saved game is corrupted. Just kidding. Undiscovered Easter Eggs 
This is more of a general entry, but on the iceberg it links back to an odd header video discussing 7 easter eggs which were never found. It discusses a very cryptic literal easter egg found in a Futurama PS2 game that was not the end of that mystery, as well as other referenced easter eggs such as another unfound one hidden in Fallout 4 which was discussed in an interview with Todd Howard, but I'm sure there are many, many other still undiscovered easter eggs, new and old, still waiting to be found. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Handprints. Not the creepiest thing ever, but in a level called Bizarre Doors of Boo Mansion, similar kind of to the ghost of Super Mario 3D Land, if you wait for 5 minutes next to this specific wall, ghost handprints will appear. Pokemon X and Y, I'm going to go for help. This refers to a strange unsolved mystery in Pokemon X and Y, which is located in Lumio Station, where you can find a suspicious note which reads, quote, I'm going to go for help, wait in the usual place. Nobody is exactly sure what this message is referring to, and does it have anything to do with the Lumios ghost girl? Well, I shouldn't get too ahead of myself there because that's coming up soon on this list. Outlaws, Alien Spacecraft. Released in 1997 for PC, Outlaws is an early example of a first-person shooter, a western created and published by LucasArts. The easter egg in question involves you throwing a piece of dynamite in an outhouse, which opens up a hole into some kind of sewer system, which eventually leads you to an alien spaceship, where you can see some aliens cooking a cow or something, before you're jump scared by another alien and the window is closed. Sims 2 Baba Yaga's Hut in The Sims 2, there could be found a secret hut located in the corner of the town Belladonna Cove, which is apparently based on the Russian fairy tale and urban legend of Baba Yaga, an old witch who cooks and eats kids, and is typically depicted living in a secluded hut in the forest away from the rest of civilization. Super Smash Bros. Melee, Daisy's Third Eye this is a pretty weird bug and not really an intended easter egg, but either way it's something that can be found in Smash Bros. Melee because for some reason from certain angles there is a third eye which appears on the back of Daisy's trophy head, although this glitch was later fixed in the North American release of the game. Minecraft Removed Harrowbrine I mean, do I really even need to explain this one? Probably not, but I will anyway. Harrowbrine is one of the most classic video game urban legends ever, but we all know by now, at least if you've seen any of my videos on these kinds of topics, that Harrowbrine is not real, and sadly never was. Although just to mess with people a little bit, Notch and Mojang would occasionally leave in the patch notes removed Harrowbrine to spark more discussion about the hoax. And at this point, and I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but they should actually just put Harrowbrine in the game at this point, like as a sort of cryptid like boss enemy that has a chance of appearing in your game. Like, that would be sick, right? Either way, there's plenty of mods nowadays if you want to have him follow you around in your own game. GTA 4, The Heart of Liberty City. Now, I'm kind of the GTA myth guy. I mean, not really. I only did a few videos on it, but it's still one of my favorite things to cover. And I did cover GTA 4, but somehow I never talked about this creepy Easter egg. Mainly because it's no mere rumor or myth, but an easily accessible, intended, yet hidden feature. If you get a helicopter and fly to Happiness Island and jump onto the balcony which cannot be reached on foot, then you can actually enter the Statue of Liberty, which in this game is called the Statue of Happiness. And on this balcony you can find a door and a sign reading no hidden content this way. But once you enter, you're met with this. An actual live beating heart which cannot be damaged or destroyed. A pretty strange inclusion even by Rockstar's weird easter egg standards. GTA 5 UFOs I've talked about this on multiple occasions now. Once in the GTA Myths iceberg briefly, but also in more of a deep dive in regards to the Mount Chiliad mystery. But basically UFOs are in GTA 5 and not in the traditional myth sense, they are full on easter eggs that can be seen at multiple points in the game. One can be found in the northern area of the map, crashed and sunken in the ocean. Then there are three other main UFO encounters which can be seen after achieving 100% completion. The first is atop Mount Chiliad at 3am during stormy weather, the second is above a hippie camp in sandy shores, and the last one is above the military base Fort Zancudo and is very different from the other UFOs. 
Oh, and there's also a few in GTA Online as well, such as in a rare resupply mission, but more notably a Halloween event where they could be seen everywhere. But if you want a more extensive deep dive into GTA 5's UFOs and their connection to the biggest GTA mystery of all time, then check out my video on the Mount Chiliad mystery. Pokemon X and Y Ghost Girl so I mentioned this a bit earlier, but this possibly connects to that strange note found in Lumio Station, or maybe it doesn't. Either way, this mystery and easter egg is much more notable and creepy, and has been the subject of numerous creepypastas and theories. This is because of a strange encounter you can have with an unknown ghost girl after taking the elevator to the second floor of an office building in Lumio City. She suddenly appears behind the trainer before sliding away, possibly even hovering above the ground, saying only, no, you're not the one. A pretty creepy and cryptic scene, especially for a Pokemon game, and with no real explanation. COD Black Ops 2 Moving Teddy So this is a little known fact about everyone's favorite or not so favorite teddy bear from COD Zombies. You know, the one that makes the mystery box go away, and sits on top of the other possible locations when it's not there. Well, if you watch it for long enough, you will see that for a brief moment, the bear can occasionally be seen looking around before returning to its neutral sitting position. Definitely not something I ever noticed because of the hectic gameplay of zombies, but a cool little easter egg for sure. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Crime Scene Kind of similar to that Sims crime scene easter egg, we can see another scenario in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, but only in the Japanese version of the game, as this was cut out of later releases. That being a house in Rogueport, which had a chalk outline of a dead toad, and a disordered home, as well as actual blood in a Mario game. GTA San Andreas Mass Grave in GTA San Andreas, here we have another easter egg which has been tied in with a bunch of other myths and urban legends. Located in the desert of Bone County near Area 69, you can come across this mass grave with many body bags thrown into a deep hole, although not actually buried, and a car left next to it, likely what was used to dump the bodies. Some believed it was connected with the Mr. Trenchcoat serial killer rumor from back in the day, but it's likely just a reference to real mafias in and around Las Vegas that would dispose of bodies in the desert. Far Cry 5 Pennywise Balloon So in Far Cry 5, a location you can come across is the O'Hara Haunted House, which on its own is kinda creepy, what with the jump scares and whatnot, but once you make it to the attic, you are greeted with the It easter egg, which is made obvious by the red balloon, which is typically used to represent Pennywise. There's also a note which is titled Clown Thoughts, and a phone call of the clown laughing at you. Silent Hill Secret UFO Ending Apparently these secret UFO endings are a recurring thing in the Silent Hill series, starting from the first one, which is what this entry is referring to. An item can be found in the convenience store in the game called the Channeling Stone, which is required for this ending, but is only available after beating the game once. Then you have to use the stone in five different locations, the Otherworld Midwich Elementary School Roof, the Otherworld Alcamila Hospital, Norman's Motel Parking Lot, in the boat before the lighthouse, and finally at the top of the lighthouse. At which point, the protagonist, Harry, is abducted by aliens and taken away, and that's it, that's the ending. Oh, and you also get a cool reward on your next playthrough in the form of the Hyper Blaster. Maniac Mansion, Hamster in the Microwave Yeah, for an NES game, this is pretty disturbing as far as easter eggs go. Because yes, you can take a hamster and put it in a microwave, turn it on, and then pick up its exploded remains. Need I say anything more? Well I will, because if that wasn't enough, you can give the exploded hamster back to its owner, which horrifies him. MK9 Crypt Monster I'll spare you the surprise of this one, because it's actually a random screamer jump scare that can occur on the main menu of Mortal Kombat 9 after waiting long enough. 
Bioshock Infinite Reversed Audio. This is a cool little secret found in the hushed whispers that occur when using the Possession Vigor in Bioshock Infinite, both in its first introduction when Booker drinks it and when used on human enemies in the game. The audio played normally is unintelligible, but when you reverse it you can make out different lines taken from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, fitting given the ability the Vigor grants. <laughs> Halo 3 The Cavemen This is something I had no clue about back when I played this game on the old Xbox 360 as a kid, but I definitely learned about it when I was doing some achievement hunting on the Master Chief Collection when it dropped on Steam. And I have nowhere else to flex this, so just gotta, yeah, I kinda beat all the Halo campaigns on Lasso, you know, no big deal, I mean, you know. Anyways, this easter egg here is pretty strange and creepy, and honestly if I saw this as a kid it definitely would have spooked me out. There's a couple of these cavemen on the first level of the game, Sierra 117. One of them you can't really see without a scope hidden in a tree. There's more towards the end of the level again, off in the distance on a rock, but easier to see. And then lastly, there's also some in some rocks that you can actually get a good look at. The Darkness Mysterious Phone Calls after getting collectibles in the game The Darkness, you are rewarded with a series of phone calls which can be listened to at a payphone in the game, which range from humorous to mysterious or even creepy. But there are a lot of these and they can vary quite a bit. Goat Simulator Cemetery If there was ever a game to be ashamed of being nostalgic for, it'd probably be this one. At least until Fortnite becomes nostalgic, I guess. God, I'm dreading that day. Apparently it already has for some people, I guess for me it just hasn't set in yet. What am I even talking about? We're getting off track. This is Goat Simulator, the funny goat game from like 2014 or something. The location itself of the cemetery isn't an easter egg as far as I know, but it's definitely creepy, especially since this thing can start chasing you. A horrifying slender goat, and no I did not make that up, that's his actual name, at least that's what the community refers to him as. Pokemon Black and White Marvelous Bridge Ghost Another Pokemon ghost which can be encountered occasionally on the Marvelous Bridge, although when you approach her she simply vanishes and another NPC even acknowledges it. And in a nearby building an old woman tells of a young girl who played with an Abra around here before the bridge was built, even referring to her using past tense, suggesting that she is referring to the ghost girl who might have met with a tragic fate and now haunts the bridge. Cod World at War, Dentist Chair. This is a pretty simple one, and one I definitely remembered creeping me out. I mean, Zombies was never all that creepy even as a kid, but I will admit this little easter egg added more eeriness to what is already still the scariest zombie map, Verrucked from World at War. And this can be heard by simply pressing the interact button on this chair in the starting room. Fable 2, Winter Lodge. This is a rather strange occurrence that can be seen in the game Fable 2 when entering a certain cabin known as the Winter Lodge, which changes once you enter it. See for yourself. Battlefield 5, Gnomes. 
The gnomes are a pretty interesting and creepy easter egg in Battlefield 5 because they can only be found on the map Eris and in the combined arms mission High Intelligence on Fel 652, where you can find two of them in a small house or randomly in a few different locations on Eris, but once you destroy one of the gnomes it will start teleporting around the map and following you, even after dying and respawning, and stares at you with red eyes. The only way to stop it from following you is to rebuild it using the build tool. Assassin's Creed 2 Giant Squid Kind of a running gag in the Assassin's Creed games, well actually it only appears in two of the games I'm pretty sure, but it happened twice and they both appear on this list so. Yeah, starting it off with this one in the second game which can be observed in the pool of the Santa Maria after staring into it for about a minute and pulling a nearby lever and looking into the pool again enough times will even cause a short cutscene to play of a tentacle coming out of the water before returning to the depths below. Fatal Frame Screensavers So the Fatal Frame games are already really scary, right? I mean, they're horror games, but there are also some really chilling easter eggs in the original trilogy, which can be seen after being AFK for a certain amount of time in-game, causing different effects. In the first game, a bunch of bloodied handprints appear on screen, and in the second and third games, the face of a ghostly woman appears alongside some screen effects and creepy ambience. World of Warcraft Goldshire's Children In World of Warcraft, if you go to the town of Goldshire at about 7.30am, you will see a group of children playing, and if you look closely, interestingly enough, you'll see them moving into the shape of a pentagram, which is pretty creepy in itself, but if you follow them, you'll eventually be led to a house, in a place called Crystal Lake, likely as a reference to Friday the 13th with the kids also possibly being a reference to the horror film Children of the Corn. But once you enter the house, you are also met with this audio. You will die. Original Xbox Dashboard Sounds So the original Xbox's Dashboard OST is already very creepy in its own right. It's a dark droning ambience, something you'd think you'd hear in a horror game, but that's only the beginning. Because if you leave your Xbox idle for long enough, you can end up hearing this. Terrifying, especially if you're just a kid hearing this out of your Xbox. Like, imagine leaving it on for a while, just sleeping, and just to get woken up to this. The reason for its inclusion? Well, apparently Microsoft really wanted the Xbox to seem cutting edge and almost like alien technology, hence the creepy synthesized voice. GTA Vice City Chainsaw Apartment Ah, uh, Vice City. A classic GTA with some really cool easter eggs despite being one of the earliest 3D GTA games. One of these is Apartment 3C, which has long been associated with various myths in the game, such as a chainsaw-wielding serial killer thanks to a gruesome scene which can be found there. Taking a look, you will find a bloody mess and a chainsaw pickup, which led to a lot of speculation on what occurred here, although the answer is pretty basic. It's just a reference to the 1983 classic crime drama Scarface, which takes place in Florida and provided quite a bit of inspiration for Vice City, most notably Tommy's Mansion, and there is a scene in the film which basically is exactly what is shown in the aftermath of this bathroom. Assassin's Creed 4 Giant Squid this is the other Assassin's Creed giant squid sighting in Black Flag, which is actually a pretty hard encounter to find. That's because you have to use the diving bell at the Antoka wreck, then swim down into the ship and look out of a certain window, which is where you'll see a giant squid attack a whale. Sims 3 Kraken We've got a similar thing in The Sims 3, except with the legendary octopus, which is much larger and scarier than the squid in Assassin's Creed, which is a very rare encounter in the ocean of Sims 3 in the Island Paradise expansion. 
COD Black Ops 2 Sniper Jump Scare A classic Mob of the Dead easter egg, and sort of became a tradition in zombies after this point to have a random jump scare easter egg. This one being of the character Rustman which can be seen by equipping a sniper with a scope, going to the roof, and standing in a certain spot and looking into the sky. Skyrim Sovngarde Statues Sovngarde is one of the final locations reached in Skyrim and is actually a Nordic form of the afterlife for those who died in combat, but there is also a pretty unsettling easter egg when you first arrive there that you might notice. These giant statues will actually always turn to face you, the player, and can sometimes even be caught shifting when you turn to take a look at them. Payday 2, Witch so the No Mercy heist, first introduced in Payday the Heist and later added and reworked into Payday 2, is already basically one big Left 4 Dead reference. Not even really just a reference, it's a straight up collab at this point. It takes place at the Mercy Hospital, where the crew is looking for a patient who has the green flu, otherwise known as the infection from Left 4 Dead, so they can extract blood from them. There are multiple other references to Left 4 Dead in the heist, such as Bill, one of the survivors from the first game game having a random chance to enter the elevator in the beginning of the mission. But there is also a witch hidden in a closet, and when you look at her long enough, just like in Left 4 Dead, you get attacked. Well, in this case, just jump scared, thankfully. Although cloakers might as well be the payday equivalent of a witch with their instant kill kicks. Fear, Alma Flashback so probably no surprise that Fear is on this list, I mean it's a horror game in itself, but this little easter egg comes in the first mission of the game if you continuously tried to open a locked door, to which you are greeted with this hidden encounter with Alma. Half-Life, G-Man Sightings G-Man is like the Bigfoot of Half-Life. Actually, that might be misleading because he's more than just a cryptid. This guy is so mysterious and interesting and basically at the center of everything happening in these games. And yet we still know next to nothing about him. Still one of the most talked about gaming mysteries and still unsolved and he can be seen stalking the player at various points in almost all of the Half-Life games, starting from the first entry in the series. Please Don't Touch Anything 3D 666 Please Don't Touch Anything 3D is an interesting game, in that it's just a pretty simple yet fun interactive VR game with many, many different possible endings. One of those being the 666 ending, which can be pretty scary to come across, especially playing it in VR, when there really is no escape. Basically, you have to press the red button until a hammer spawns in, use it to break the glass on a clock on the wall, then move all the hands to 6 and enjoy the nightmare. Nintendo Labo Haunted Labo House Not much to say about this one, other than this is something that could definitely startle a young kid messing around on Nintendo Labo, but it's not really that creepy compared to other entries on this list. World of Warcraft Kraken 
Located in the zone of Zuldun in the Battle of Azeroth expansion for World of Warcraft, there is a location near the top of the map, underneath the water near a shipwreck, where a giant kraken can be found in the depths. And what's more is there is also a horn which if you blow, the kraken will start to move closer to you, although you still can't actually reach it. A lot of kraken and giant squid encounters on here, for some reason. Bioshock Infinite, Dead Bodies. In the Bioshock Infinite DLC, Burial at Sea Episode 2, towards the beginning, Elizabeth has a vision of being in the boat with the Lutesses, where if you look closely in the water, you can see dead bodies. This is likely a reference to the River Styx, a river in Greek mythology that leads to the underworld and is typically depicted as being filled with corpses. Manhunt 2 Strip Club Jump Scare so I've talked extensively about both Manhunt 1 and 2, did a deep dive on cut content and an entire iceberg on these games. Big fan in case you couldn't tell. But if you've seen those or played these games, you'll know a jump scare is far from the creepiest thing you can encounter. Either way, this is found in the 4th level, Red Light District, and if you look closely at one of the strippers, suddenly she is replaced with a vision of Danny's dead wife. Wizard 101, Face in the Void this is a pretty simple yet creepy encounter in Wizard 101, which can be found in Mushu when standing in a very specific spot, which allows you to catch a glimpse of some ominous blue faces in the background that are only visible from certain angles. Batman Arkham Knight, Man Bat Jump Scare so the Batman Arkham games have quite a few jump scares if I remember right. Like I remember way back in the day getting scared by that Scarecrow one in the original Arkham Asylum which terrified me as a kid, but this one is found in Arkham Knight and hits very suddenly when grappling to a rooftop. Yeah, this has got to be one of the scariest non-horror game jump scares ever. Witcher 3, Ghost Ship. Here we have something not encountered by a lot of Witcher 3 players. I mean, this game has a ton of secrets in its vast open world, but this here, this ghost ship, can only be seen in a certain part of the ocean and only for a brief moment before disappearing into the dark waters below. Skyrim Headless Horseman This mysterious spectral character can be found roaming on his ghost horse at nighttime from 10pm to 4am, typically following the footpaths and leading the player, if you choose to follow him, to Hamvir's Rest, where he can occasionally be found during the day. Interestingly, he cannot be damaged at all and is not tied into any quest in the game, meaning this is just a random easter egg, or maybe he was intended to be a part of a quest that was scrapped. Either way, he's definitely one of the most interesting entities you can come across in Skyrim. Animal Crossing New Horizons 3AM Alien Message if you stay up until 3.33am on a Saturday night with the TV on in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you should just be seeing static, before being met with an alien message which is basically impossible to understand. GTA Vice City Cement Shoes 
At two different locations in the map, both in the ocean, you can find two similar looking men who have seemingly been killed and drowned by having their feet submerged in cement, making them sink into the ocean. A pretty disturbing prospect, and all the more so when you realize that this is based on a real life execution technique used by members of the Mafia. It's very similar to the mass grave of San Andreas, but this one is even more disturbing in my opinion. Runner 2, Slender Man. Really cool easter egg here in the game Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien, where Slender Man can actually be found in the background forest of the level Bushwacky, stalking the player as they progress. But the best part of the easter egg comes at the cannon section at the end, as waiting around for a while causes this to happen. Doom 3, Mirror Jump Scare. This is a rather simple but infamous jump scare from Doom 3. When you enter a specific bathroom, even without looking directly into the mirror, this will happen. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. GTA 5 Mineshaft Body There are truly no shortage of creepy easter eggs and mysteries in any of the Grand Theft Auto games, but especially GTA 5, because by the time they made it, the myth hunting community was in full swing, leading Rockstar to make a ton of their own mysteries for people to solve and investigate. And this here is one of those strange easter eggs, as located in the mineshaft can be found a dead body of a man wearing a suit on the tracks. It's fairly hidden as well, as the only way to enter this location is to find this locked door and blow it open with explosives. There is also a tape reel beside the man reading Richard's Majestic, and it's said by players that this is actually the body of a cartoonist from the 1940s named Isaac. And even creepier, it's said that his ghost haunts this mineshaft, as even when the player stops moving, footsteps can still occasionally be heard. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Ghost Girl here we've got another Pokemon Ghost Girl, seems to be a bit of a trend, and I didn't even know it until now. But this one can be found in a cutscene when fighting Phoebe of the Elite Four. The first time you see the ghost, she is strangely only visible for a few frames sitting on a chair, but the next time we possibly see from her POV watching her get up from the chair and walking, getting closer to the player and Phoebe. And then, barely visible on the side of the player again during the cutscene, the face of the ghost again appears. What this means, I have no idea. Likely just something for aware fans to notice and get creeped out by. Plants vs Zombies, Slender Man Another Slender Man encounter here, in Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare, which can be found on the map Zomboss Estate in the woods. Hitman 2, Moving Mannequin an absolute classic, like this has to be one of the most popular kinds of easter eggs in games, right? The moving mannequins. Usually though, it's one of those where it moves around when you aren't looking kind of thing. Sneaking up on you, getting closer and closer as you look away from it, but this time's a little different. As you can zoom in on a dummy in this mission, Miami the finish line, where this mannequin can be seen ominously moving and even pointing, only for it to look at the player, and once you leave your scope, it's gone then turn around and it's about to hug you. Oh, and also the sign behind where the dummy once was now says Live Exorcism. So yeah, definitely one of the creepiest and most unique mannequin easter eggs I think I've ever seen in a game. Yume Nikki Uboa Event Yume Nikki is a game with a mind-bending narrative and surreal elements, and also has plenty of secrets, one of those being a really creepy event which can occur if you turn off the light in Poniko's house. It's a very rare thing, occurring only 1 out of 64 times, but if it happens, a black blob called Uboa will appear inside the house and ominous music will start playing. If you interact with Uboa, you will be teleported to another area called the White Desert, which you will be unable to leave, only being able to wander aimlessly in the endless landscape. 
COD Black Ops 3 Mannequin Zombies. This one is really cool, and we just got done talking about another unique mannequin easter egg, but really this one takes the cake, because if you go on the Nuketown map, the most iconic of all the Black Ops maps, and proceed to shoot off the heads of all the mannequins scattered around the map, then you'll hear a familiar sound. If you played the zombies mode, that is, because yeah, all the mannequins turn into zombies, using the same animations and framework from the zombies mode, and will hunt you down around the map until they eventually kill you. Witcher 3 Weeping Angels This is a reference to Doctor Who found in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which for fans of the show is a cool nod, but to those unfamiliar with the franchise, it could just come off as creepy. When you notice two angel statues are starting to follow you around a graveyard when you're not looking, turning to orient themselves in your direction. This can all be seen during a quest called Witcher Wannabe, after entering this small church in the graveyard. Dead by Daylight Sanctum of Wrath Statues So similar situation here on a Dead by Daylight map called Sanctum of Wrath found in the Yamaoka Estate Realm. There are these statues which also turn to look towards the player whenever you look away, although given how sweaty this game is and the fact that it's already a horror game, you probably won't notice this unless you're looking for it. Game Boy Camera Pop-Ups Okay, no joke, one of the scariest easter eggs ever, and one that actually terrified me as a kid. I didn't even have a Game Boy camera either, just seeing videos about it was enough for me. All you have to do to see these creepy faces is to open the Game Boy camera application and then press the run button until one of them appears. Here are some of these faces. Gmod, GM Big City Jump Scare. Okay, I'm honestly shocked that I had never heard about this because I was a pretty big Gmod player back in the day, and this is one of the most classic maps of all time. And it is a pretty huge map, I mean, it's an entire city after all. However, if you come across this building with a sign reading Cafe Baltic, walk up to the door and press E, and you'll be greeted with a loud scream. So, if you ever boot up a game of sandbox with your friends on this map, make sure to tell them to press E on this door without telling them what it actually does. GTA 5 Jolene's Ghost The ghost of Jolene Cranley Evans is an urban legend in GTA 5 created by Rockstar, meaning it's actually a real thing. You can see this ghost by visiting the top of Mount Gordo, between the times of 11 o'clock and midnight, but if you approach her she will disappear. Who is she? Well, she is the ghost of Jolene Cranley Evans, as I said. The wife of another character named Jock Cranley, who murdered his wife by pushing her off the cliff, causing her to haunt the top of this mountain. Halo 2 Mausoleum Suite Audio One of the songs found in the Halo 2 soundtrack in the Mausoleum Suite is called Destroyer's Invocation, and it kinda slaps. However, there are some hushed whispers in the song that can be heard, but if they're reversed, you're met with this message. Seeking forgiveness for my own crimes against God. 
But also in the Halo 2 Anniversary Remaster, the track now has different reversed audio, which is actually taken from the Didact speech in Halo 4. Just Cause 2, Smoke Monster. The Smoke Monster can be found on Hantu Island in Just Cause 2, which is the birthplace of a lot of myths, real and fake. The Smoke Monster is actually real though, and a reference to the TV show Lost, which the entire island is sort of inspired by. Metal Gear Solid 5, Radio Message. This is a rather simple yet sad one, because in Metal Gear Solid V, Kojima's last project with Konami, you can hear a radio message from P.T., which everyone knows was the playable teaser of Silent Hills, which he was actually working on with Konami before he got kicked out. It's not any new material, it's just a message that can already be heard in P.T., but I guess it could be creepy to walk into a random tent and hear this in MGS5 without knowing the context. Kanye Quest Ascension This game is a doozy. Likely, if you know about it at all, you know about the dark secret it hides. On the surface, it's just a strange, goofy RPG Maker game released on PC in 2013 about Kanye West teaming up with other musicians in the year 3030. However, it was later revealed that there was an insane easter egg based around a cult called Ascensionism, as when you type the word Ascend into a dialog box with a certain NPC, it begins the elaborate easter egg in which you become initiated into the group if you follow all of the right steps, some of which are pretty cryptic, ending with you being asked for your home address and other private information to join the group. Although it's likely this was all a part of a greater planned ARG which was never finished. Silent Hill 4, Robbie the Rabbit. This is a pretty simple one again, but if you peek enough times through a peephole, you'll eventually see the Robbie the Rabbit plush start to move and look around toward the player and even point in your direction. Half-Life 2, Zombie Moans Reversed. So the zombies in Half-Life 2 aren't that creepy anymore, I guess, by today's standards, right? I mean, I'm sure in like 2004 they were terrifying, but nowadays we have games like the Dead Space Remake. So these guys just aren't as terrifying anymore, right? Right? Well, think again, because if you reverse their screams, this is what you will hear. Some of the most terrifying audio I've ever heard in a game before. Modern Warfare 3, Ghost Voices. This creepy voice clip can only be heard on the level Sanctuary in the graveyard next to certain graves. These voices come from the campaign cutscene Davis Family Vacation, which contains a brutal scene of a family on vacation in London getting bombed. Resident Evil 4, Del Lago Monster. This happens in both the original game as well as the remake, and isn't even really like an easter egg, just a funny feature. Maybe more startling than anything the first time you see it. B 
Battlefield 4 Ghost Voices. A lot of ghost voices on this list. This one is found on the Battlefield 4 map Nonsha Strike, where if you go to this underground tunnel and then find this security camera which will follow you and start to beep, then just wait here, you will eventually hear some hushed whispers, possibly the voice of a ghost telling you to leave this place and to stay away. Ghost Recon Wildlands, the boy that turned into a lake. In Ghost Recon Wildlands, a Kingslayer file, which is basically a piece of intel in the game, describes an urban legend called the boy that turned into a lake. It reads, quote, People from the eastern village of San Ignacio de Moxos say that a long time ago, local women could only use a small swamp to wash clothes and men had to go fishing miles away. One day, a young boy went to help his mother and as he walked into the water, he mysteriously disappeared. His mother ran into the village to seek help. When the villagers reached the swamp, the boy was nowhere to be seen. Nowadays, the swamp has turned into a beautiful lake full of fish and clean water. Doki Doki Literature Club, Did I Scare You? This is a really cool detail in Doki Doki Literature Club, but uh, basically talking about anything of substance that happens in this game is probably considered spoilers, so skip to the next entry if you don't want the later part of this game spoiled to you. But essentially this jump scare only happens if you're recording during the third act of the game when Monica is talking to you, which will prompt this to happen. Zombie Army 4 Dolls There are a ton of these dolls hidden throughout Zombie Army 4, which glow, make creepy noises, and eventually vanish when found. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Old Chateau Another Pokemon mystery involving a ghost girl, this time in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Found in the old chateau, which is a dilapidated old house that is haunted by spirits and has an otherworldly feel to it, which is definitely aided by the creepy music. This ghost girl, however, can only be seen by entering the middle room, but can be seen on the right side before exiting. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Old Chateau we're visiting the old chateau again, just this time we're in the remakes of the previously mentioned games with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and there are actually quite a few notable easter eggs to be found here. First of all, the same ghost girl can be found again in the same spot, but also the eyes on a portrait in the room glow red and stare at you, and it even laughs at you. Also there's a ghost butler in the dining hall, which I'm pretty sure was also in the old chateau from the original Diamond and Pearl as well. Yakuza 6 Ghost Photos In Yakuza 6, there can be found a series of photos of people who have since passed away from previous games. And once you collect all of the photos and then return to where they were taken and pull out your own camera and take a picture, you will be greeted with their ghostly image in the frame as well as a controller vibration. Very similar to the ghostly images from the original Metal Gear Solid. Night of the Consumer's Hidden Room 
Night of the Consumers is a first-person horror game designed to look like an old PS1 game, but the easter egg here isn't all that creepy compared to whatever else is in this game from what I saw. But to find this secret room, you take this box of video games or something and continuously throw it at this crack in the wall until it breaks, leading you to a room with bones, as well as writing showing this man was trapped in the walls for many, many days, as well as writing that says, don't trust the manager. Not really sure what this exactly means, as I've never played this game, but that's probably lore food. Animal Crossing Gyroid Face so for some reason, I guess to encourage people to save their games more often, a feature was implemented in Animal Crossing which made your character's face look like the gyroids if you failed to save before leaving your town. Hitman Contracts – Ghost in the Mirror in Hitman Contracts on the level Traditions of the Trade, you can find a section of the hospital which is closed due to an accident occurring there, leaving someone dead. However, you can pick the lock and enter this hidden area, where a dead body can be found in room 109, along with a gruesome crime scene and a cop who tells you there's been an accident. And if you go into a bathroom in any one of these rooms in this haunted section of the map, you will see the ghost of the man who died in the mirror, only to turn around to see that he's no longer there, only reappearing when you look back into the mirror. Five Nights at Freddy's Golden Freddy Jump Scare so this should barely even be considered an easter egg because Golden Freddy is one of the most well-known things at this point from the FNAF franchise, but believe it or not, in the first game he was just a mere easter egg that had a random chance of spawning and freaked out unsuspecting players. However, the odds of seeing him are extremely rare, but if you are unlucky enough to encounter him, he will spawn inside your office and text reading it's me will appear before he jump scares you and completely closes the game. This was also later added in as an easter egg if you typed in the number 1987 in the difficulty options for the custom night, which again would give you the Golden Freddy jump scare and crash the game. Taiko no Tatsujin 1STPAI Okay, so this one is genuinely unsettling, mostly because I do not understand this at all. Basically, in the Japanese game Taiko Drum Master, a Taiko Drum rhythm game, an unused song was found that is quite, uh, well, here for yourself. Now, it's unknown exactly what this song is supposed to be, but some believe it was intended as a teaser for another game in the series centered around yokai, or Japanese spirits, which released on the DS, although this has not been proven. Actually, wait, this kind of goes hard. Black and White 2 Whispers Honestly, this is just a really cool feature, that if you were unlucky enough to be born with a fairly common name, has the potential of completely scaring you in the middle of the night. Well, it would have if you played this game without knowing this. Basically, if you launch the game after 10pm, and happen to choose a name that is within its recorded database, then your name will be whispered as you play. Psychonauts Mila's Secret Room A secret room hidden within the Mila's dance party level of Psychonauts contains a rather disturbing easter egg in an otherwise pretty kid-friendly game. If you manage to enter her secret room, you will be met with the chilling screams of kids who died in a fire at an orphanage, screaming things like, Save us, and why didn't you save us? Let's 
get back to the party, okay? Darling, if you're looking for the makeup room, you've come to the wrong place. Doom OST Spectrograms. Pretty simple here, but if you look at the soundtrack of Doom in a spectrogram, you'll notice the numbers 666 as well as a pentagram. The Crew Bigfoot. Okay, this is the type of Bigfoot encounter I need in GTA 6. A full-on NPC that can be encountered in the wilderness, which is exactly what we have here in The Crew 2. He can be found in the Southern Cascades, roaming the countryside. He can also be found in the first game as well, in the Northern Cascades. Animal Crossing New Horizons Graveyard Wallpaper as far as Animal Crossing easter eggs go, this is definitely one of the creepier ones, which can be seen in New Horizons with the graveyard wallpaper if there is dim lighting, which will cause a ghost to appear, who actually is one of the only things in the game to appear in a realistic art style, making it feel all the more out of place in this game. Call of Duty Finest Hour Ghost Room This definitely takes the cake for the weirdest Call of Duty easter egg of all time. Yes, including all the zombie stuff and everything from modern CODs. It is found in the level Underground Passage in the campaign, where you can find a door that you can't open through normal means. However, if you throw two grenades at it, then press the action button, then throw another nade, it will actually open, leading you to the strangest room ever conceived. There's floating candles, creepy framed baby pictures on the wall, a crib, teddy bears, a toilet, ghosts, a mini tank driving around. Oh, and under the staircase is a giant rat. Too. Also, the character you're playing as comments this, which I couldn't have said it better myself. This is easily the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Omori Mirror Jump Scare. At this certain spot at the floating mirror and Otherworld campsite, you can look at you and your friends, and while it seems normal at first, doing this enough times will prompt you to see this. Layers of Fear Ouija Board The Ouija Board is a part of the Halloween update in Layers of Fear, which can be used and found in the normally locked back room of the basement, and quite a few words can be inputted leading to different effects, such as 666 summoning a possessed teddy bear, 20 causing children's laughter to be heard, Cthulhu hilariously enough actually summons him, and Kill just straight up kills you, and many, many more. The Crew World Ending If you go north of Hill Country in the south in The Crew, you may find an abandoned car along with presumably its dead owner in the bushes, and nearby for some reason a floating newspaper that reads, World Ending. Yeah, very strange easter egg. I guess maybe they're trying to imply that this news made this guy end himself or something, but why is it floating? Who knows. Cry of Fear 911 Call Cry of Fear is a psychological horror game developed originally as a mod for Half-Life 2, and later released as a standalone game on Steam. In the game, one of the items you are given is a cell phone, and if you choose to call 911 or 112, the Swedish emergency service number, this is what you'll be greeted with. Death Stranding Shower Ghost 
Again, here's another sad reminder of how PT, aka Silent Hills, was probably going to be the best horror game of all time, and sadly we'll never actually see it. But we do get a possible reference to it in this Death Stranding Director's Cut Easter Egg, which can randomly occur in Sam's room. Bioshock Infinite Hidden Music Bioshock Infinite has quite a few of these hidden easter eggs in their tracks, be it in the Possession Vigor audio or just in their ambient tracks, which can be heard at a few different points if the music is sped up. Animal Crossing New Horizons Haunted Paintings If you collect Red's paintings in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you might notice that these particular paintings are haunted. Some of them change their facial expressions, and some even open and close their eyes. Slender the Arrival Secret Level in Slender the Arrival, released in 2013, there is a pretty elaborate easter egg you can do to find a secret level and get an achievement or trophy for doing so. First you have to walk up to a swing set until you see text, then play the piano until again text appears saying this feels familiar, then turn on the radio, find the flashlight, leave the house, and then finally find the missing person's poster, at which point you'll get a quick jump scare and be booted back to the main menu. But once you press the start game button, you'll be in the secret level where you can play hide and seek in a creepy glitched out house. Red Dead Redemption 2 UFO Encounters I talked about this a bit in my Red Dead Redemption Myths video, but there are a ton of references to aliens in almost all Rockstar games, but in RDR 2 there are a bunch even for Rockstar, but most notably are the UFO Encounters, the most prominent of which can be found at an abandoned shack near Heartland Overflow, where we can come across a cult ritual as well as some skeletons and a note left by the leader of this strange cult. It reads, at the second hour under the half moon, by the great love and grace of our savior, Kakawaba, voyager of time and galaxies, we cast off our corporal shells. So his vessel can take our spirits to the promised realm, to live in peace and power until the 2000th year, when we will return for the new chosen and worship once again at the peak of Mount Shan. In his love we rejoice always. If you return to this spot at 2am, you will be able to witness the UFO hovering above, basking the cabin in its green light. Another UFO can also be seen near the top of Mount Shan, which is also referenced in the note. 
Dear Esther Ghosts. Dear Esther is a first-person walking sim, first released in 2012, that has a ton of ghost sightings throughout the game that may be hard to spot, although YouTuber Woodinator has made a compilation of all known ghost sightings. Portal 2 Ratman's Dens Doug Ratman is one of the most mysterious characters in the already bizarre world of Portal. He is one of the only known survivors of Aperture Science, and despite never appearing in person in the games, he has left quite a few players creeped out over the years due to his many dens and hideouts, which can be found in both Portal 1 and 2. Splatoon Disturbing Boss Sounds Found in both Splatoon 1 and 2, this file named amb underscore boss cmn underscore field se was ripped from the files and uh, yeah, for a kids game this audio is pretty creepy no doubt, and it can only ever be heard in game after defeating a boss in single player. Yume Nikki Monaco Event Monaco is a character in Yume Nikki found in the White Desert area, and if you go up to her and use the spotlight effect, it will cause her to transform into a mutated monster. Escape from the Coolsonian Jump Scare Escape from the Coolsonian is a really obscure Scooby-Doo point-and-click flash game that was made to tie in with the second live-action film Monsters Unleashed, which had quite a disturbing jump scare, especially for a kid's flash game. In the second level, if you use the crowbar to try and open the sarcophagus, this would happen. Dream Daddy Escape from Margarita Zone The Escape from Margarita Zone achievement in the dating sim Dream Daddy is done by completing the secret cult ending. In order to achieve this ending, you must have these settings for your created character, and you can actually trigger this on the third date with Joseph, with the player waking up in an underground dungeon, or optionally you can just skip right to the nightmare, as you're given a choice to do so if you meet all the prerequisites. A Hat in Time, Monster Noises If you stay in the Hat Kid's room for about 20 minutes or so, you will begin to hear some eerie noises. Stay even longer and you'll hear even more monster-like noises. Red Dead Redemption 2, Whispering in the Forest In Red Dead 2, if you go to a forest near Roanoke Valley, and to the south of Brandywine Drop, you'll find an area of woods haunted by the ghosts of a dead couple who were tragically and brutally murdered, one beheaded and the other burned alive. The story of the couple is told in a theater show called The Ghastly Serenade, and you can hear the spirits whispering as you enter the haunted forest. D-Day Moloch D-Day is a 2004 RTS game which hides a dark secret, which is hidden in the first chapter of the game. If you fly over the church and zoom in, you will hear the voice of a demon.
Furthermore, if you blow it up, you'll find in the rubble five runes in the shape of a pentagram. Destroy all of these runes in a specific order, and it will actually summon the demon Moloch. What's crazy is that you can then control him and he is seemingly OP as hell and there's basically nothing the enemies can do to stop you. But if you do the ritual in the wrong order, he will still spawn and instead just kill all of your troops and you. Red Dead Redemption 2 Vampire Encounter yeah, Red Dead 2 appears a lot on this list, and for good reason. Rockstar goes all out with these cryptids and creepy easter eggs. And the San Denis Vampire is one of the absolute coolest encounters in the whole game. He can be found across from the church in San Denis at night after collecting all the clues throughout the city, and you'll come across him feasting on one of his victims. You can choose to talk to him and leave him alone like he asks you to, or you can attack and kill him to get his unique dagger, although be careful because he can one-shot kill you. Infra Tunnel B2 If you manage to access Tunnel B2 through a hidden puzzle, you can gain entry to a secret route which will take you down an almost unending and dark hallway, as you hear breathing and strange noises as you walk on and on, until finally you eventually reach a door at the end. Spec Ops The Line, Foreshadowing. Well, this is kind of awkward. I mean, I did an almost two hour deep dive into this game, the entire story, the foreshadowing, and most of the easter eggs, so if you want to see that, I would definitely recommend checking that out, but saying anything more here will give away the entire story, so yeah, if you want to know more, check out my video or play the game, it's an amazing experience. But yes, there is a ton of foreshadowing and a bunch of easter eggs as you progress through the game, which I outlined in that video, but I don't want to spoil such a great game here. GTA 5 The Infinity Killer The Infinity Killer is one of the most prominent and investigated myths in GTA 5 because it's actually real, as 8 victims were killed in 1999 and their corpses were found wrapped in plastic, and they were all joggers, interestingly. Their bodies can be found at the bottom of the ocean floor off the coast of Polito Bay. But there is quite a bit more to this creepy easter egg. Doing a little digging, you can find a rock with a riddle on it, presumably written by the killer, and explains why he was given his nickname. It reads, One is done, two was fun, three tried to run, four called mom, five not alive, six is nix, seven's in heaven, and eight won't wait followed by a series of eights or infinity symbols. It's also possible to learn the true identity of the killer, Merle Abrahams, who we learn about from a newspaper clipping that says he was the main suspect in the murders and died in prison at the age of 57. Saints Row 2 Screaming in Saints Row 2, for a franchise known for its wacky humor, you might be shocked if you happen to come across this house at night and hear what sounds to be a brutal torture scene inside. Red Dead Redemption 2, Ghost of Agnes Dowd This is another ghost that can be encountered in Red Dead 2, the ghost of a woman named Agnes Dowd. She can be found in Blue Water Marsh between the hours of 9pm and 3am during foggy weather, and each time you see her she will relay different parts of her life story for a total of 16 encounters, with the last one telling the player that she knows she's being watched, and further shows you the tree where she hung herself. She will also disappear at any time during the encounters if you get too close. Resident Evil 7 Demo, Ghost 
In the demo for Resident Evil 7, there can be found a ghost at 7 different locations which doesn't appear in the base game as far as I'm aware. Because this could possibly be remnants of a proposed character called Remy who would have been a part of the Baker family before her role was split into the characters of Zoe and Mia separately. But some just believe it's Mia's model or supposed to be of teen Evelyn, although either way her ghost encounters are still quite creepy. No More Heroes, Jean's Backstory There's a bit of a fourth wall breaking moment in No More Heroes Paradise that is played for laughs as Jean talks about how her backstory is too disturbing to be told in the game, and might cause the age rating to change and the game to be delayed, so they fast forward through it. But if you slow it down you can actually hear it, and yes, it is actually very disturbing. There's just one thing I want to ask you. Who are you? Me? You don't need to know. All of your trivial questions will be answered in the afterlife. Answer me! It's impossible. Impossible? What do you mean? It's too terrible. It alone would jack up the age rating of this game even further. So what? Who cares? What if the game gets delayed? You don't want this to become No More Heroes Forever, do you? Alright. I'll fast forward this so you can tell me. Okay. I'll make it short and quick. You are my half-brother. You know that manga called Miyuki? The Japanese one? Well, it's like that. Your father abandoned my mother to run off with your mother. It broke her heart beyond repair. She killed herself. Knowing I had nowhere to go, he took advantage of me. Ever since I can remember, he molested me. We lived in this rotten apartment, and I was his slave. Every day I cursed his soul. I swore that I would kill him one day, but cursing didn't change anything. That's when I decided to become a killer. With no money to pay for training, I paid with my body. But to you, <laughs> I bet that son of a bitch looked like a hard-working family man. That was all an act. He didn't give two shits about cleaning up my life, so I decided to clean it up myself. That's why I do what I do, and I got what I wanted, killing him in front of your very eyes. That's my story. Imagine that. You and I. Brother and sister. Oops. Red Dead Redemption 2, Sunny. Sonny is a really disturbed individual you may have the misfortune of running into in the game. He seems friendly enough at first, sitting on his porch, but uh, then he talks about skulls and tries to invite you into his house, only to end up knocking you out and presumably assaulting you, before leaving you out in the bayou among other bodies and bones. Clearly Sonny is a serial killer, and knowing this, you can just kill him if you happen to run into him, or if this does end up happening to you, you can still return to his shack and get your revenge. PT, Lisa following you. It's wild how much of an impact one demo had on the horror game scene. A demo people are still talking about to this day, and that secrets are just now being uncovered almost a decade later. Because almost six years after release, it was found out that Lisa, the antagonistic force of the game, was constantly stalking you just out of view the entire time. Far Cry 5 Radio Broadcasts in Far Cry 5, when listening to the radio in your car at a few certain areas of the map, a strange frequency will cut in of usually static, followed by a secret message. What any of this means is unsure, although some believe it could be a reference to number stations. Stardew Valley Rare Alien Event This is a very weird easter egg related to an object called the Strange Capsule, which has a less than 1% chance of spawning in your game, and for a while it was unknown what this weird pulsing thing was even supposed to be or do. In a later update it was changed to spawn more regularly, as well as to be accompanied by a UFO sound, 
and a message reading, a strange sound was heard in the night. But wait three days, and whatever was in the capsule has broken out, as it's now empty. And from this point on, on rare occasions, you may spot a dark figure stalking you from the trees. Harvest Moon 444 There is a strange and creepy easter egg in the original Japanese version of Harvest Moon. If you go up to the TV at exactly 444, you are met with this message. This is because the Japanese word for 4, she, is also the same for death, making it a very unlucky number. Red Dead Redemption 2, Missing Athletics Team. A lot of RDR2, like I said, but for a very good reason, and this definitely is at the top of the list for the creepiest things you can find. Also, just gotta give a quick shout out to Rockstar for putting so much time and effort into these small stories and easter eggs that only a small number of players even encounter and see through to the end. Hoping to still see stuff like this in GTA 6. But back on track, this is about a missing Blackwater athletics team, which you can actually find all murdered in a shallow grave, all killed by a serial killer named Edmund Lowry Jr. Wait a second, why does that name sound familiar? Oh my god, it's Eddie Lowe from GTA 4 in Red Dead 2. You can eventually track him down and get kidnapped, but manage to escape and capture the killer himself, and bring him back to the sheriff's office in Valentine to bring him to justice. Bully Crying Baby at a seemingly random house in Bully, at this point on the map, you can hear what sounds to be a baby crying, and sometimes even more than that. But it's honestly pretty quiet in game, so it's hard to tell what's really happening. But if we look at the files, we can start to get a better picture. The baby crying is just called Baby Cry, but the other sounds, well, they're titled Domestic Fight 01, 02, and 03. Yeah, and if you listen to the raw audio file with that name in mind, it all of a sudden becomes a lot more disturbing. Okay, so now on to Domestic Fight 2. Ben and Ed ARG Ben and Ed on the surface is a pretty simple platforming game where you control a zombie named Ed trying to save his friend Ben. However, it has a rather dark secret. One of the secret endings has the start of this ARG, as a jump scare is shown which also contains coordinates that are located in Germany. Eventually, someone actually went there to find a package hidden in a sewer grate. The package contained a working iPod, a bone, and a very strange image. The iPod had concept art and emails between devs, but from here the story only goes even deeper and gets more convoluted, with the devs claiming they had not made that secret ending and that it was made by a free freelancer named Benedict, who was also associated with some other strange pages on Facebook and such. Another package was also found thanks to that Facebook page, and other disturbing videos and photos were posted to the page, such as one of a man cutting off his own foot, at which point the devs since disassociated themselves from the mystery, saying someone else was entirely behind it. Definitely a strange rabbit hole, for sure. Nun Massacre Scream Origin Nun Massacre is a 2018 puppet combo horror game inspired by PlayStation 1 graphics. One of the most disturbing noises, though, is the scream in the game, which sounds all too real. Because, well, it is, as it was taken from a real 911 call from a woman named Ruth Price, which makes it all the more disturbing once you listen back to it. Red Dead Redemption 2, Clausen's Rest. And to end it off, what a better way than with a Red Dead 2 easter egg, and one of the most disturbing things you can come across. If you enter the Clausen Rest cabin, you will find a note from a mother, written to her children Glenn and Eddie, saying she was going after men who stole money from them. However, she never returned. 
and looking around you will find empty cans as well as a table where they likely killed and ate rodents or animals to survive. But it was not enough and eventually they starved to death. But that's not where the tragedy ends because you can find at Chez Porter not too far away the gang who killed the mother and stole from the family, which you can overhear from their conversations. And that will do it for today's iceberg. A decent variety of stuff on this list, and quite a lot I had never heard about, even in the Rockstar games on this list, which if you've been following the channel you'd know I'm a big fan of. But there's not much else to say really, I've said my piece on these easter eggs, so I turn the mic to you, metaphorically speaking I guess, to tell us your favorite easter eggs, especially the creepy ones, that may have disturbed you as a kid or even today. Maybe some phenomenon you encountered that you haven't heard anyone talk about before in a game? Let us know. But that'll about do it for me, it's been me Sourcebrew, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, I have a few other gaming related icebergs if you want to delve into those topics, and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video, I hope. Anyways, take care, and peace out.